Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Asmi Hongos. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how to put music on an iPod or iPod Classic. Plus the best practices that I found to make this transition as smooth as possible, as it is pretty time consuming and it really makes you appreciate what we have today with streaming. Before we get started, I am running Apple Silicon and Ventura on my laptop. At some point, Apple did change the way that the computer interacts with the iPod. And what I mean by that is most people would think that once you click onto the device, that it'll show up in your Apple Music, where all the information is actually at is in your Finder window, once you open up the Finder at the bottom of your toolbar, and then comes the music, of course. That's the whole purpose of this. Finding your music actually is kind of weirdly difficult. You can either get it from a CD, or purchase it on iTunes or whatever manner that you personally find. I have a demo song and it's really strange sometimes, it's just a hit or miss. When you download your MP3, it won't fully have the artist name sometimes or the cover art, which is the most important to me. Like I want it to look really, really nice and pretty. And a really good practice to do is to make sure that you have a dedicated folder for your iPod. For me personally, I do have videos and photos on here. And if you do decide to do that, it'll just make your life a whole lot easier. In order to put the music onto your iPod, we're gonna drag it into iTunes and it looks like kind of blank and boring, right? So you wanna hold down control and then get info. From there, you know, we have the title itself and you wanna put in the artist. Make sure not to put, leave a space bar right here because it will show up in the iPod and it is very obnoxious. Of course, you wanna put in the album name as well, but I think this is a little bit long, so I'm just gonna cut it just a bit short because I don't like how long it drags on the iPod sometimes. It just really annoys me personally, so I try to keep the album just as short as possible. Previously, iTunes would generate the album art. However, now they just let you drag a PNG of the album onto the work. And here you can see that it is blank, but now it has its own artwork and the title, and it looks eerily similar to how it would look like on your phone. From there, you'll want to jump into the Finder, and you get to see all the information on your iPod. Personally, I know that manually managing your music sounds like a great idea, but it really isn't. So if I transition over to the iPod, everything is highlighted. And if you do things one at a time, you do the cover art, you assign it, you manage your music, you click it in there. Uh, it'll just save you a massive headache because then the iPod isn't syncing constantly back and forth when it's talking to your computer. And I always convert it to the highest bit rate possible. I'm actually very impressed by how much juice and sound I can get out of the iPod from just a regular pair of ear pods. You remember the ear pods? Because <laughs> um, I forgot what their name was. <laughs> when I first did it, I was trying to do it one at a time, right? So I would put in the album and then I would sync it. And then I would put in another album and then it would sync. And that just took way too long and it would just break my cadence. So in that case, the best practice is to just do a bulk of albums. Like let's say you do three albums at a time, then you connect it and then you hit uh, sync. Sync from this page, for me, what I notice it automatically syncs all the settings and it'll copy all the music on there. So this is only one song, so it's not gonna take a long time, but it took maybe like 10 minutes for uh, my iPod to sync all of my albums in the past. And that also depends on the quality of your iPod and the way that the hard drive is taken care of. And that's just regular wear and tear. Then it'll show up on your device. And that's really it. So hopefully this helps you. For me, it just took a lot of figuring it out and testing and practice as Apple kind of did a weird thing where they scattered the iPod and I completely understand why. But let me know if you have any thoughts or any opinions down below as I'd love to help you and answer your questions. But in that case, at the end of the day, thank you so much for your time and your attention. My name is Azumi Hongos, and I'll catch you in the next one.